Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I actually forgot to say that yesterday, but that's okay because nobody caught it. That's great. I wanted to, before I get into this video, I want to show Jane something. Jane, are you looking? Because you have asked me if I've started the, the poncho. I have started it just a few days ago. I started it. I'm, in, I'm working on the ribbing. This is the part that I've I've started. This is the this will be the cowl neck part. So I have a few more rolls to go so I can roll it over, which it won't roll because it's right in there. So I can roll it over, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. But right. I've started it and I love this yarn. This is this is the yarn that Cynthia gave me and it's perfect. It's it's a nice weight. A nice color, and it looks like it should be an outside, on, uh, an, an out, something you'd wear as a sweater or a coat or a. And the outside of the body. Yes, um, not not a, not a um, top, but it would be like an outerwear. Outerwear. That's the word I was looking for. Outerwear. It looks great as an outerwear. Well, I'm going to put a little video in here about my pig's feet. And I'm also going to put a little link in the more section so you can find where it's finished because I'm not going to show you the finished in this one. Well, I am, but I'm not. <laughs> if you go to that other video, you'll see the pig's feet finished. But I talk about how I how I started it. And I, I noticed in the other video I did the same thing too, but it doesn't hurt to see it twice, I guess. Today I'm going to cook the pig's feet. So we're going to get them out of the fridge. If you notice, I have I have two packages. And this is what I'm going to cook along with all of that sausage. But I'll do the sausage later. Okay, the first thing I have to do is unwrap these. Okay, take the wrapping off. And there they are. Then you have to put them in a pan of water. I dump them in a pan. Then I fill the pan with cold water. Actually, I fill it with cold water just enough to cover them. Once they're covered, I put them on the stove and let them come to a boil. Now they're on the stove and they're going to have to cook for a very long time. I will show you what happens after they boil. When pig's feet or pork cocks come to a boil, as you can see, they produce a scum. Whoa, that's, that scum has to be removed. And so what I do is I just scoop it out with a slotted spoon, which I'm going to do now. I take a slotted spoon and I just slide underneath the scum. And then I bring it over to the sink. And I just down the drain. And then I do it again. And then you just let this keep boiling. You let this keep boiling. I let the pig's feet boil for probably three hours and they look like they're done. I did change the water once because it got real milky. And then I added more water and continued to boil for an, about an hour after I added the water. So now it's ready for the sauce, which will happen tomorrow. Just went outside to gather eggs, and this is how many I found so far, and it's early. Mr. Brown hasn't laid his yet today, but he's been laying one every day. And also, did you know that it's Christmas Eve? Yep, it's the night before Christmas. And I love that story. The book, I, I will do just a smidgen of it. You know, I was going to bring in and tell you that the title used to be something else, but I forgot to bring the book in, so I can't remember what I said. So we'll just have to deal with it. 
<laughs> as is. And what it was is the first the first line in the book is what became the title when that wasn't the title at the beginning when the book was written or when the story was written I should say and twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse well that's what they think mm -hmm. I have a mouse that was running through the house and we'll go check on that mouse right this minute okay it's it's actually no, it's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to repeat now that. Uh huh. Many mice. There's a lot of mice over there, but Jim has been working on some mice for my kids. I have a mouse, but I asked him to make me another one because they're hot pads. Is what they really are, and we'll go check those mice out. So you want to come with me? I think you do. So let's go see those mice. As you can see, he made these mice, they're actually hot pads. And there's five of them there. Late that night a creature was stirring On that well-known Christmas Eve But one little mouse scurried to the house a little white mouse coffee. His eyes like two buttons were shiny, but he just could not believe the way Santa came and knew him by name, that little white mouse called Steve. Now there were trolleys and bugles. Yes, Santa Claus filled each stop Steve scurried all about, scampering in and out. Then he ran up the clock, tick tock. At last, dear old Santa was packing as he flung his bag with ease. Then off like a breeze, leaving one piece of cheese. For that little white mouse caught Steve, bump. So I hope you all have a really lovely evening, night before Christmas. And hopefully you have, if you have a mouse in your house, it's a wooden mouse like mine. And I will see you all tomorrow. So Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.